Ashley, it is October 21st, 2015, and that means it's Back to the Future Day! That's all I really have to say about that. I was just super excited. We are in the future. Okay, so there's this thing that I'm really excited about. Uh, it's a concept that I hadn't heard until, like, this past Sunday. And that concept is the concept of an antistrophe. I'm gonna find the exact definition of an antistrophe for you. Actually, this word has disappeared from the English language since Sunday. Fine. Okay, no worries. I found it. I'm going to read it to you. Antistrophe is a derivative of a Greek word meaning turning back. It is defined as a rhetorical device that involves the repetition of the same word at the end of consecutive phrases, clauses, sentences, and paragraphs. Okay, so this is something I do occasionally. Not all the time because you can't overuse it, but it is something that helps to emphasize a point using uh, antistrophes. Um, the example that the internet gives, uh, the beautiful, beautiful internet says, uh, it's a quote from J.R.R. Tolkien that you may or may not be familiar with. You're familiar with it. Um, it says, oh, this is from a movie too. A day may come when the courage of men fails when we forsake our friends and break the bonds of fellowship, but it is not this day. An hour of wolves and shattered shields when the age of men comes crashing down, but it is not this day. The idea of using, but it is not this day, repetitiously um is an is antistrophe so this is something that i have used before in uh, my fiction writing and in my essays and things and peers have corrected me on it and said you use this word or you use this phrase twice in a row or very 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 close together and i'm like it's supposed to do that and i didn't have a phrase for it until now, and I'm super excited that there's a phrase for this thing I do um, that proves that I am not crazy and I am not a bad writer. It's a thing that people do. Um, so I'm very excited about that. The way uh, I came across this word was that uh, today I had a uh, presentation on rhetoric and uh, I was studying for it or I was looking up information and stuff for it. Uh, on Sunday, and I came across this website with the different versions of rhetoric and, or not different versions, different tools of rhetoric, and there was this word, antistrophe, and I was like, I don't know what that means. Let me look at this, antistrophe, and I read it, and I was like, I do that. I do that. I'm not crazy. Ashley, it is now time for our halftime special guest. Hi. <laughs> Hey Ashley, so I was talking with some of my um, classmates online today about presidential elections and this one kid was like, oh, uh, somebody mentioned um, Carly Fioroni, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but whatever, um, and she was like, I really like her, but then this other kid was like, I don't think a woman should be president at all because he quotes 1 Timothy 2 11 and says let a woman learn quietly with submissiveness do i do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority over a man rather she is to remain quiet and so he's basically like he thinks that women should not be president at all he makes it really really clear that a man is the only person who should ever be allowed to be president and that women should not be judges women should not be queens there should not be a queen in charge and he doesn't think that, he, or he says down here, Queen Elizabeth might be a good person, but she's still a woman. So he does not think that at all, that a woman should be present. But I gave him a biblical backup to why is it is okay to be, uh, for a woman to be present. And I thought I did pretty good. So, I said, basically I said, um, in what he quoted, it says, I do not permit a woman to teach. And I said, by this, do you think a woman can't be a teacher? He didn't get back to me on that one, which probably means he's like, ooh, she got me there. Um, but it also says later in 1 Timothy 3.11, it says, in the same way, women are to be worthy uh, of respect, not malicious talkers, but temperate and trustworthy in everything. So if we're supposed to be trustworthy in everything, 
then I think it's okay for us to be president. Um, and it also says, I also included, um, a deacon must be faithful to his wife. And I know we're not talking about marriage here, but we're talking about presidential election. But it also, like, he was basically saying that women have to submit to men always and never, like, it's, I mean, we're not, like, I don't know, whatever you want to call us, animals or something. Um, but, so, um, and in the book of Timothy, he's giving instructions to the church and home, not the government. And yes, he does say that a woman cannot be a preacher or a pastor, but he doesn't say anything about the government. So, I pretty much got him. If you want me to send you the comments, because I can, but yeah, it was pretty cool. That was a short rant compared to what it was earlier. It was great. She was going on. She was like, well, that's obviously about the church and not the government. And nothing says that a woman can't be president. Our little sister is pretty cool, actually. Anyway, thought you'd enjoy our, our um, discussions from today. Okay, so for your fun fact, I looked up how lava lamps work. And um, apparently there's like wax in there. And then you have the translucent liquid. And the, it moves up and down due to the density, which is due to the uh light inside but i still don't get how does the light change heat and that changes the density i don't know i'm a little confused but apparently the change in the lava of the lava lamp which is just wax uh very disappointing i thought it was real lava um but yeah i don't know exactly how it works but apparently the heat does something I guess it has to change temperatures like the, the thing well, that seems too complex for a really cheap lava lamp I don't know that wasn't really a fun fact because I didn't know much about it I expect you to uh, have some serious serious Harry Potter house answers because you put it off a week so now you got to really do your research if it had been just a response you could have just said the quick note and been done with it but now I expect something good Hope this was entertaining, and I hope the cornfields are keeping you well.